we all know that every car manufacturer is placing a lot of emphasis on his warranty this year. And that includes us, too. You know that we have an excellent product, a product that we're backing with the industry's most practical warranty. Naturally, when you're selling Ford, you sell the Ford 2424 warranty. You don't waste any time talking about competitive warranties unless the customer brings up the question. For example, he may mention Chrysler's five-year warranty as opposed to our two-year warranty. If he does, we need to be ready to answer his questions. And we have some excellent answers to those questions. The Ford warranty covers all car parts under normal use and service except tires and normal maintenance for 24,000 miles or 24 months and even includes full coverage for the battery during this period. And it's designed to be easy on the owner and his wallet. For example, our owner's manual states, the engine oil should be changed at 6,000 miles and thereafter at 6,000 mile intervals. No hedging, no nonsense, 6,000 miles. And Ford is the only manufacturer who says that. The entire Ford warranty and car are designed to fit the idea of simple, economical, and convenient twice-a-year maintenance. Now, let's quickly review just what that Chrysler five-year warranty covers. As you can see, it's long and it's complex. Briefly, it covers all car parts under normal use and service, except tires and normal maintenance for only 12 months or 12,000 miles, whichever occurs first. That's just one year half the period of the Ford warranty. What about the other four years Chrysler is advertising? The separate warranty extension covers only the drivetrain, the engine block, head, and all internal engine parts, transmission case, and all internal transmission parts, torque converter, drive shaft, and universal joints, except dust cover, rear axle and differential, and rear wheel bearings. The Chrysler service manuals say this about oil change. Chrysler Corporation recommends that engine oil should be changed every two months or up to 4,000 miles, whichever occurs first. Every 4,000 miles under favorable conditions such as highway driving. Every two months for adverse conditions of operations such as less than 10 miles per trip. For short trips in cold weather or driving on dusty roads, the oil changes should be made more frequently. No matter how you add it up, Chrysler requires six times a year maintenance, and that's not so convenient, not so simple, and not so economical. But the owner will have to get it done, or his warranty claims can be denied. No question about it. When it comes to oil changes, Ford has an edge that's really impressive. But let's compare some other things about the warranties. The Ford warranty gives whole car coverage for twice as long as the Chrysler warranty. During the first two years, Ford actually gives twice as much protection to the owner. Ford covers such important items as the carburetor, fuel pump, power steering, power brakes, and convertible top mechanism for two full years. Chrysler covers these items for just one year. One other important point. How long do most of your new car buyers keep their cars? Would you say that most of them keep their cars about two years? If so, the Chrysler warranty couldn't mean less. But let's take a look at the kinds of things you can say to a prospect who asks, Why does your warranty only cover me for two years when Plymouth will cover me for five years? You would certainly want to find out how long he intends to keep his new car, how long he's in the habit of keeping a new car. If he usually trades in about two years, you can point out that instead of getting what sounds like more protection with the Chrysler warranty, he is actually getting less protection since Chrysler covers the whole car for just 12 months or 12,000 miles. Ford covers the whole car for 24 months or 24,000 miles. Let him know that the last four years of Chrysler's five-year warranty cover only a few reliable and dependable parts and only if he can show proof that he had them serviced on a six times a year basis. And besides, he probably will have traded the car for a new one before it matters anyway. Review with him some of the well-known parts that Chrysler covers for only 12 months, but that Ford covers for 24 months, except for normal replacement of service items. Distributor, condensers, coil wiring, 
electrical system wiring, carburetor, fuel pump, fuel lines, power steering, power brakes, convertible top mechanism, engine or transmission controls and linkage, and manual gear shift lever and clutch assembly, and so on. If any of these parts develop a defect during the second year, Ford will replace them free. Chrysler will not. Emphasize that you will see to it that he has a car he is perfectly satisfied with long before two years have passed. And that a Ford is built to keep on running satisfactorily with a minimum amount of maintenance far beyond two years. And be certain he understands how simple the Ford warranty is. Twice a year maintenance is all that's recommended. Recommended, not required to keep the warranty in effect. Review with him how complex the Chrysler warranty is. And keep in mind that Chrysler's warranty, which is extremely long and involved, will almost certainly give the prospect the impression that he will have to take his car back to the dealership for all the service. Point out that a Chrysler owner has to have his car serviced six times a year. Wherever he has it serviced, this is going to take up a lot of his time and will prove to be inconvenient. He must keep a written record signed by the dealer or person performing the service that he has fulfilled the many maintenance requirements. This means he has to go back to the dealer so that the dealer can certify that the required service has been performed. Also, if the owner has his car serviced someplace other than the dealer, he has to produce receipts. Receipts that prove that the work has been done and done in a way satisfactory to the dealer. Point out Ford's superior maintenance-free characteristics, things that add up to Ford's greater reliability. First of all, there's Ford's 6,000-mile oil and filter change, as opposed to Chrysler's 4,000-mile or two months or sooner oil and filter change. Ford has a 36,000-mile major chassis lubrication interval. Chrysler has spread this out from six months to 32,000 miles. Ford has a 36,000-mile fuel filter change. Chrysler requires this at 16,000 miles. Ford has 24,000-mile wheel bearing lubrication. Chrysler recommends inspection at 16,000 miles. Ford installs 36,000-mile two-year coolant. Chrysler recommends draining and flushing the cooling system each spring and fall. For the Ford owner, this means an average savings of approximately $12 to $13. Ford installs long-life transmission and axle fluid. Chrysler recommends checking the fluid levels every six months. Review with the prospect the greater cost to him of the more frequent service required by Plymouth or any Chrysler car and the greater savings in time and money he can enjoy with the more maintenance-free Ford. For example, to drive 33,000 miles, a 1963 Plymouth would cost $77.70 in maintenance items, while a 1963 Ford V8 would require only $33.50. Let's check exactly what these costs involve. The Plymouth requires a 1,000-mile oil and filter change for $5.15, one major chassis lubrication for $3.15, 15 oil changes, $48.75, five oil filters, $17.25, and two fuel filter replacements, three forty. That's a total of seventy-seven dollars and seventy cents. And unless these things are done, warranty claims can be denied. During the same period, Ford requires no one thousand mile oil and filter change, no major chassis lubrication, and no fuel filter replacement. Ford recommends only five oil changes for sixteen dollars and twenty-five cents, and five oil filters, seventeen twenty-five for a total cost of only $33.50. For any prospect who intends to trade his car within two years, Ford provides twice as much protection with greater convenience and at a great deal less cost. Even for those prospects who say that they intend to keep their cars longer than two years, you've got the strong story of the quality and durability built into every Ford. In summarizing for any prospect, you might point out that Ford gives him the protection he needs, when he needs it most, and on the most important parts. Chrysler gives just half the protection that Ford provides, only one year instead of two. The other four years protect the Chrysler owner only on the powertrain. 
And the Chrysler warranty is more expensive to keep in effect because of the frequent service demands and is far more inconvenient. Ford saves its owners time, inconvenience, worry, and money and gives twice as much protection when it counts the most. So, when a prospect asks about Chrysler's five-year warranty, he's given you the chance to use some of your most powerful selling weapons. Be ready to use them.